Are you planning on streaming over the Easter break? Do you want to give your channel's overlay that extra bit of bunny bounce? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to prepare and change your overlay in preparation for Easter using stream elements. My name's Inwills and welcome to the In Crowd. So without further ado, let's log into Stream Elements and start to bunnify our overlays. So here we are, I've logged into Stream Elements and I'm on my dashboard page. I'm going to try to do this in one take, so please bear with me if there's any mistakes um, on the way, then I'll try to just gloss over them. So first thing I'm going to do is that on the left hand side, I'm going to come down to where it says themes gallery and I'm going to click here. And this is where all the free um, themes from stream elements uh, appear. Now, this is a super theme section, which means with a super theme, you, they can either be animated or static but you get um, uh, like a, a main gaming screen, a be right back one, a stream starting soon, a chatting one when you're bigger in the middle and a stream ending. So that's what essentially a super theme is. Themes are just like one um, overlay and then you get different alerts that you can use in any of your overlays just by cutting and paste, copying them into OBS Live. So we're going to go back to super themes and we're going to look for the Easter one, the fluffy bunny one. So here's the player's unknown battlegrounds. This Trigon super theme is absolutely fantastic. I actually use it for my role playing game sessions and I really like the crispness of it, the simplicity of it, but also the color um, scheme. Here, if you're doing any Apex Legends, you've got some lovely themes. And we're just going to go past the Christmas one, past the GTA, right the way down to here where we have the fluffy bunny ones. Now we have some static scenes here and we have some animated scenes. Now I really like the animated ones. So I'm just going to preview these. And you can see here that we've got a, a main gaming one. We've got a nice chatting one. Um, we've got a stream starting soon. Um, here's the be right back one and then a lovely pastel shade of stream ended. So I'm going to go down here to where it says create my overlay. I'm going to click that button and I ask you to give it a name. So I'm going to call it Easter Overlays. Nice and original. And I'm going to click create my overlays. Now, if you want to make no changes at all, then these are the links that you can add as a browser source straight into OBS Live. But I'm going to make some alterations. So we're going to see themes in my overlays. Now, I apologize, I have loads of these, but I'm going to just scroll down and here are here they are all together. So let's start with the stream starting soon one. I'm going to press the big pen button and it'll take up the whole screen and here's my stream starting soon. Now, I always like to go up to this button up here and click fit to screen uh, so I can see everything. Right, so let's have a look. Here's my countdown clock. So if I wanted to say start streaming, I can click the date click here and then it's Saturday today say for example I was going to start at one o'clock um, one o'clock exactly here we are I could save it and then this would give me a countdown for there it's picked up all my latest followers my latest sub and my latest cheer over here I have my latest tipper this one I have my top tipper and I have no data in at the moment so I could click on this and then change here where I wanted it to be. Um, but I'm not going to do this. I actually don't like this one. So this is the versatility of it. I'm going to just click it, press delete and it'll disappear. I'm going to press delete on that little button there as well. <coughs> Excuse me, still getting over a cold. Um, and then I'm going to go up to widgets. And I'm going to come down until I find recent cheers here. And I'm going to add that 
to my um, overlay. And you can see here what this does is that it gives you a nice sort of like scrolling effect. And you over here, you can change this. So the, the most recent item. So it's going to be vertical, eight items. And I'm just going to left click and drag it down here. Using the little black box, I'm just going to shrink it down a bit. And then I'm going to, it's snapping to my grid nicely, but I'm going to do some fine movement with it. If I can just pick it up. I will do, uh, here we go. Let's just increase it back up to there. And I'm just going to use my arrow keys to pop it into position there. Now it is moving a little bit too fast for me. So in the text settings here, um, it says scroll speed left six. I'm just going to knock it down to three and then um, save it. Now down at the bottom here, can you see it has some YouTube stuff here and Twitch and, and just underneath me is Instagram. So I'm just going to move it up here so you can actually see it. Now with these, um, what you do is you just click on it and then up here you can change it to put in your own, um, your own Instagram or Twitter, etc. And then you can save that. So I'm just going to exit this. I'm going to leave the page. Let's look at the other ones to see if there's anything that we want to change. Here's the be right back one. Um, re I really like the middle bit of this, how it's evolving and, and moving. I think it's absolutely fantastic. So here we've got this um, tipper um, data. So again, I'm going to delete that, go to widgets, pick up my recent tips, add it again, and then just sort of like scroll it down into place and then move it with my um, arrow keys to start to finish off. Is going to make it a little bit um, smaller. I've put tips in this one and, and not um, cheers, but you can see it works the same. Let's move it down there. So these are my wonderful tips. And again, I'm just going to go to edit settings and take that down to about three. I think three is a nice one and then that's it. Now notice that it automatically has the alerts on. So um, for example, if I want to show a follow alert, you can see there it, it automatically pops up and you could move this um, around your screen to where you actually wanted it, which is brilliant. Okay, so I will come back and fill in all the all the um, other areas later. So finally, the, the, the other one that I like to do is to look at the gaming screen here. And this um, um, box over here, this is the one I use. So this one I tend to get rid of. So this is where my, my camera is going to be. Now, what I would tend to do and look at my other video about webcams, I actually export that and send it to a new overlay with just that on. I tend not to use the one that's actually on the setting, but you can watch one of my other videos. I'll link it up at the top now so you can see that. So I'm actually going to delete that because I don't want it on it. Um, here again, you can see that down here we could change our um, our information, etc., and make sure that that's all tied in right. And I don't like that one, as you know. So I'm going to go widgets, and let's put recent tips in there. And then we just need to um i'm just going to size and position sometimes if it's caught be um, underneath or i can't get it if you go to size and position and say center widget can you see it brings it right into the middle for you and then you can easily um pick it up so let's just move that a bit and slide it down using my hour keys bit smaller maybe and then you can guess what I'm going to do next with it because as you can see it's going far too fast so text settings and change it down to two there, or three it's up to you okay now once all this is done then what you would do is come down here and for each of the scenes I would um, click 
my big button again my big pencil and over here you can see that there's the um the link here to cut and paste it um, into OBS Live. And I would just add it as a browser source, make sure it is 1920 by 1080, and that's it. You will be all set up, ready, with a completely bunnified overlay ready for Easter. So I hope you found that useful. I will definitely be implementing it over the Easter weekend. Like I said in the previous section, please consider liking, commenting and subscribing to my channel. It really supports both me and my dreams. Until next time, I'd just like to say to each and every one of you, please remember to be who you are and say what you think. Because the people who mind don't matter and the people who matter don't mind. Have fun and I'll catch you all later. And until then, happy fluffy bunnying. See you later, guys. Three, two, one. Remember, if you have found this video helpful, then please consider either liking, comment, uh, comment. Ugh, oh.